With Rabbi Yona, we are in chapter 3, Mishnah 13, Mishnah Yud Gimel. Rabbi Akiva Oimer, Rabbi Akiva says, Schaik vikalos roish, margilin leerva. Joking around and lightheadedness brings a person to sexual immorality. Masiris, tradition, or passing down the tradition from one generation to another, siag la Torah, that is a safeguard to Torah. Maestros siagla osher, giving maeser, giving tithes, that is a safeguard for wealth. Nedarim, making vows, siagla precious, that is a safeguard to distancing oneself from physical pleasures. Siagla chachma, a safeguard for wisdom, shtika, is silence. So now Rabbein Yona is going to explain each of these things. First it says, Shok v'kalus rosh, margil in the erva, that lightheadedness and joking around brings to sexual morality. Wrote Salome, that means to say, Ki COVID rosh v'hayira heim siogla arayas, that a seriousness and a fear, that is a boundary for sexual morality. Shekol zosa mishnah b'siogla medaberis, because all of this entire mishnah is talking about safeguarding oneself, protecting oneself from different things. I just saw someone who was very excited that he's going to become a comedian, allegedly uh, someone who portrays himself as an Orthodox Jew, but that's not a good profession for an Orthodox Jew. Uh, we mentioned a few times ago that Rabbeinu Yonah says in Shari Tshuva and Gimel Kuf Ayin Zayin that it's a very serious violation to get around, to everyone have everyone join together and just tell jokes. Now, like we mentioned, that doesn't mean a person has to be depressed and serious all the time. A person is supposed to be, is supposed to be uh, with a happy disposition, and you can tell jokes. The bad thing is, is to arrange it so that you're just getting together for that purpose to tell jokes and waste time. But uh, be very, uh, be very happy and uh, tell little jokes to people as part of spreading to as part of a person's personality, that's okay. In fact, they say that Rav Chaim Ozer was a, a very happy person and he was always telling jokes, but they were jokes with a purpose to make a point. Uh, Rav Chaim Kanievsky, I know someone who knew him well, he said also he was telling jokes, but they were like Torah jokes that had a purpose, had a point. The issue seems to be just getting around, joining together for just the purpose of telling jokes and wasting time. Okay, and again, that uh, source is also, besides here, the mission we mentioned a few weeks ago, and also Shari Tshuva in Simen Kufa and Zion. Okay, let's go further. Meiser Siagla Osher. Giving Meiser is a guard for wealth. Now, Meiser is a tithe, a person has to give 10% of his crops to the levy. Back when we lived in Israel. Okay, so let's see what this means. Kedamrinu v'mesechas Tainus. It says in the Talmud in Tainus, Al oso tinuk shehayakore aser taser. There was a child who was reading the part of the Torah where it talks about giving tithes. Omer lo Rabbi Yochanan. Rabbi Yochanan said to him, Aser b'shvel tis asher. And the way he interpreted that verse was, Give tithes so that you will be rich. That when you tithe, when you give 10% of your crops to the levy, you'll become wealthy. Amr lo, the child said to him, The child asked Rabbi Yochanan, But is one allowed to test God? The verse in the Torah says we can't test God. We're not allowed to say, God, if this happens, then if I do this, then I'll take it as a sign that this happens, or I'll do a mitzvah so that you'll make me... Uh, successful, we're not allowed to test Hashem. Amr lo, he said to him, Rabbi Yochanan said, Hachi Amr Rabbi Yochanan, this is what Rabbi Yochanan said, Chutz Mizu, you're not allowed to test Hashem except for this mitzvah of giving Meiser. When it comes to giving Meiser, you could be assured that it's, you're going to become rich from it. Shinemar, as it says in the Pasuk, Have you as called ha Meiser el Beis HaOtzer, vihi tarif Beis Hashem says, bring all the Meiser, all the ties to my storehouse. And it'll be a sustenance for my house. And test me, says Hashem. That I won't open up for you the windows of heaven. That I will pour out for you blessings with no end. And this it says, That giving Meiser is a guard for wealth. 
Someone, you want to become rich? How do you become rich? Give Meiser with a generous eye. Shalom Yomer. Don't say, Elif Kurim Shiechli. I made a thousand. This, this season, I have a thousand bundles of crops. How can I give a hundred of hundred crops? I have a thousand bundles here. How can I give a hundred bundles away? They're worth so many thousands of dollars. Rather, you shouldn't say that. You should give it generously. Because Hashem is trusted to give you what you gave and to double your reward. And this is this is true. Through testing. Now, giving charity is the same as giving maeser. Right? We don't give tithes nowadays to the levy, the same way we used to do, especially if we live outside of Israel. But we are commanded to give charity, to give tzedakah. And it's, that's like maeser. Someone who increases to give a lot of charity, he'll get wealth, wealth upon wealth. A person shouldn't neglect from giving generous gifts to poor people because he thinks he's going to become poor. This is how you're going to become wealthy. So how do you become rich? By being very generous in the amount that you give poor people. Don't. And the, the rich person shouldn't think that even if I don't give the amount that I'm supposed to give, everything will be okay. He'll think an evil thing Lamar saying. Common most bizarre to be stuck. Look how much money I give to stuck. Let's take a billionaire. So a billionaire, ten percent of a billion is a hundred million. He should really be giving a hundred million to charity. So he doesn't give a hundred million. He gives ten million. So what does he say? You know what? My ten million dollars helped a lot of people. Common the common of How many people did I save from dying of hunger? But he doesn't know. with all this mina The poor person who gives charity, according to the amount he's supposed to give, let's say a guy only has a thousand dollars. So he gives a hundred dollars. He's better off than the billionaire who only gave ten million. The pauper who only has a saw, which is a measurement, a small measurement. And he gives what he's supposed to give. And the rich person has thousands of saw. He has two thousand saw, and he gives one ninety-nine. So you have one person has a saw, and he gives. 10% of a saw, he gives a tenth of a saw, and the other rich person has 2,000 saw, and what does he give? 199. The poor person who gave what he's supposed to is much better off than the rich person who gave less, even though the rich person gave more crops, he didn't do what he was supposed to. Same thing with charity. A person should give how much he's able to, whether it's a lot or whether it's a little. So to answer the question, how does one become rich? What person should give generously to charity and should trust in Hashem? What is, it, what is this based on? This is based on also, we learn from here, that our money, our success monetarily, is not dependent on our own skills, but rather we have to know that all of our money, it comes from Hashem. It's a gift from God. We do what we can, but at the end of the day, whether we're going to be successful or not successful, there's a million things that can happen to a person that he won't be successful in making money. So in the end of the day, a person's success in monetary matters comes from God. When a person realizes that, then he's able to give money freely to tzedakah because it's not through me that I'm being successful in getting this money. It's from God. So therefore, uh, God gave me a gift. It's not really mine. So I'm able to give it away. And I trust in Hashem since He told me this is what I should do. And He's the one that the money's coming from. When I do what He says, I believe that I will be successful monetarily. Okay, so the answer is a person wants to become rich. Give a lot of, give charity generously. Okay, and then, looks like it's going to take us a few more times to finish this Mishnah. Rabbeinu Yon has a lot to say on this Mishnah. With that, wishing everyone a great day.